And I was talking about Rua Putahanga, it's a pity that the tide is coming in. You go down across the bridge and you go down, walk along the beach and you go around the other side there and all the history starts from the rocks on that side. And it goes right back around to where she hits the Taranaki side, the Moko side. Yeah. But it's amazing what she's done here. And that's what I was saying over in Marakupa, that's how Marakupa got its name, was through her. Yeah, she used a leaf from a maro tree, and that's how Marakupa got its name. Marakupa so was through her. Ka haere a ruruhi along the beach, ka wahi o te tanga kōreroi kona, ka ea tuki gonena, ka noi i rungi te kohatu, ka nui putinga. The water coming up from under the rock. Coming through Fresh the rock water. itself, not coming from off the sand, through the rock. Fresh water. We're still there today. Then you go up further and there's a... And I'll put my tonu to why? Hi, get the really tonu. Get the really tonu. I'm going to get the sticky cake. I'm going to get the sticky cake. I'm going to get the sticky cake. Hey! Yeah, Michael. And that's what we were talking, Terence and I were talking about. I was asking him about the kaichakis to some of their um the things along the beach at Marakupa because here we got a white stingray just up the first point the second point we got a white shark, shark. and stingray and at the end where Rua Kutahanga went through we got a white octopus <laughs> and that water the sea come in go out come in go out it's not blue it's frost all the time. You never see the water, you just see the frost on top. Mm. And they, they call that the fungongoi, the, fo the foam of the thing. And that was through her going through and foaming it up from behind. So whoever was chasing her lost their tracks. She got on the other side of it, that's it. <laughs> There you see that little monga up the top of it. <coughs> That's our monga for here. Pihimatia. Um, Te monga tēnā. The next one along further, we can't see it from here, but further over is Moiatua. The one further along going on that bridge across that way. you got Moiatua, then you've got Whareorino on the other side. And Whareorino, you're heading to Waikawa. Moko way. And those are the three moongas here. This one here, we use it as our weather forecast. We know if the clouds are now down over the top of it, it's going to rain. He's got his blanket on. Yeah. If the clouds are all around it and the point's sticking up, close to rain. But as soon as you hit the top, rain. And that's for sure. Yeah. And that's our yeah. weather forecast man for this area. When I was growing up with Dad we used to go over to Marokko for the cooking <coughs> bees at the Marai for the pokos, eh Peter? You know that. Yeah. And we used to go from here with a horse, horse sledge or horse and gig around the beach. Certain times of the year you can get around the beach and just sand it all the way around right through to Marokko. You can take the horse and sledge around the beach, you can take the gig and horse around the beach. Even your taharo? Horse, yeah. Oh, yeah, I imagine before they had these, it was all horse. Oh yeah, long, long before all these came into play. Yeah. And yeah, those were the days when we were growing up here. Yeah. <laughs> live on the beach. It's a, like I say, it's a pity that we're late, otherwise we've gone for a long walk up the beach, you see. Yeah. And you can see right back down to where Terence's farm is down the beach, from up there. <laughs> 